Hey, what's going on guys? So today's video is going to be a little different. Uh, a lot of times I'll show you guys stuff what I do at work and um, tools and things like that. But uh, today I'm going to show you my, my EDC bag that I carry with me everywhere I go. And this is mainly geared towards survival EDC. But I do have a couple things in here that I, that I use on a daily basis that also come in handy for me when I'm uh, with friends and family as well as at work. But uh, just jump into it. This is a uh, it's a Protector Plus military style bag. This is actually from a from a Japanese company that I ordered on Amazon. This bag only cost me twenty dollars, and um, I ordered a few other things and I got free shipping on Amazon with it. But I mean, for twenty dollars, the size of the bag. This is a sling pack. It's extremely small. It's maybe only about roughly the size of two of my hand widths. Very small bag. And it's very light. Even with all this gear on, it's still only about maybe, I'd say, 8, 10 pounds. Not a very heavy bag, but it carries all the essentials that I need. Um, right off the bat, this bag will carry a large Gatorade bottle. I just got some water with me right now. Um, I am by a stream, so if I need to drink some more, I can. And I'll show you my filtration process that I have for that. I carry a, uh, a Maglite Mini. It's a 180 lumen LED light. And uh, it takes double A's, which is, which is what I like about it also have a, a stinger streamlight stinger this is the HL model so this is the high lumen this is 700 lumens and uh, it gives me my brightest light as soon as I flash it and then I can hold the button down and get different modes out of it as well as a, uh, a strobe feature if I need to use this for signaling definitely good for if people are looking for me at night I also keep a, uh, a roll-up bag Life gear, and uh, I got this at Target. But uh, it was only seven dollars, and it's really good. It's a good size, and it keeps all of your stuff waterproof. So if I'm gonna go hiking through streams, uh, like I am today, if I'm gonna go, if I come up across something that's really deep, you know, like up to my chest, stuff like that, or, or waist high, I could put a lot of my stuff in here and keep that stuff really dry as well. I uh, got some Jif to go, just a little snack for up here. Uh, got some different cords for charging my cell phones uh, for both my personal phone and work phone. Also got a uh, a Leatherman Micra, little multi-tool with some scissors and other other useful things, and then just everything else in here. Double A's and and triple A batteries, and a, a pair of uh, nail clippers. With the small nail file and, and pick and stuff like that. These come in handy too. Also for the, uh, the pick, if like you gotta scrape something up underneath your thumb and you don't want to really use a knife for that kind of stuff, just unsafe. That's really it for that bag. I just got a bunch of extra batteries in here for my flashlights. Second small pocket. Uh, keep my wallet with me. Don't like to wear it in my pants when I'm out hiking. And also got a, uh, a portable battery pack so I can charge my cell phones. With me also I got a, uh, a water bottle all squished down. This is one that I use for drinking out of the stream. I don't want to mix it with uh, my, other, my other water bottle. This what I'll do is um, I'll fill this up and then I screw on my filtration system and then squeeze the water out and get clean water in here. I got some medications with me. This is actually good for um, for insects things. Uh, recently I was stung with a wasp, so I'm carrying this with me. Um, but this is good for reducing the itching as well as swelling from, from non-venomous insects. And I also got some antibiotics with me. This is, these are two items I would not give to anybody else other than myself, unless if it was like a dire life or death situation. But I mean, with an insect thing, no. But with the uh, the antibiotics, Definitely that, that could help uh, save somebody. I got some mayonnaise packets for um, another snack that I brought along with me, some light tuna. I've got some, uh, some compression wrap that's for um, athletic tape. I got some athletic tape with me. This is good for, for medical purposes. If you sprain an ankle, um, twist your wrist, something like that up here, you can definitely stabilize it with that. Um, should definitely get a bigger roll though. I've used this quite a bit. I do have um, broken bones in my wrist, so I do use this from time to time. 
I've um, got some uh, some Carmex with me for your lips if they get chapped. Got a uh, emergency whistle with a compass built into it. It's also waterproof. It's got a little signal mirror inside, and I also got some some matches and the striker in there with me. Could definitely fit some other items in there. I'm thinking about putting some cotton balls, and I probably should, but I don't have any with me right now. Also got a Coleman uh, soap. These are pretty cool. They're little tiny sheets, and uh, you just wet your hands and clean them up. It's good soap to go. This is my my Sawyer water filter. This will actually um, screw on to my cap here, just like that. And then all I gotta do is squeeze the bottle, and out comes clean water. And this will filter out 99.99% of all harmful viruses and bacteria. The only thing it cannot filter is contaminants like you know gasoline, oil, stuff like that. Snickers bar. It's been melted a couple times. Another snack. You can never have too many snacks with you when you're up in the mountains, especially if you're like me. Extra battery for my Streamlight. At 700 lumens, these, these batteries only last two hours. At their lowest lumen output, 180, um, they'll last six hours, or I think six or eight hours. Keep four chem lights with me, all nice and taped up. Um, when you keep them taped up like this, a lot of people get worried about putting them away because uh, you might crack them. While they're while they're put away in your bag, but uh, if you tape them up like this, it's less likely you'll you'll crack it and set the the chemical off to, to actually glow. I keep four with me. Um, I don't know how much length of paracord this is, but I got some black paracord. I think it's maybe 25 feet, probably maybe less, a little bit more. A lighter with some gorilla duct tape on it. Always make sure that your lighters work before you take them up with you. Uh, 50 foot roll of um, OD paracord. Also got uh, some some small road flares. These are will last five minutes a piece, so I got 10 minutes of road flare. And these are good for uh, like it says campfire starting and signal fires. Um, this is from Orion Search and Rescue, and I actually got these at Walmart. They were like I think like eight or ten dollars. They're really they're really reliable from what I've seen online. I've never tested them myself, but um, I've heard, I've definitely heard good things about them, but recently I have not seen Walmart sell these anymore, but uh, I like to keep these in the package so that way they're, uh, they're nice and airtight and they don't get water into them. Oh, here we go. I was looking for this earlier, but uh, I got a little ferro rod in here with me. This I actually put in my pocket. Um, I always like to keep some items with me in my pocket as well as this lighter as well I put in my pocket also got some uh, Gorilla Grip work gloves from Home Depot these are really nice they're inexpensive only ten dollars and uh, they definitely do the job I use these a lot for work I got at least ten like eight or ten pair of these but uh, I like these a lot they're really comfortable and they do the job and um, last but not least a small little boo-boo kit. Um, no tourniquet, nothing like that in this bag. Um, I don't even have one, but that's definitely something I want to get and, and put in my bag. Um, this is still an ongoing process for me of, of what it is I take with me up in the mountains, but that is the essential items that I bring along with me. And uh, as you can see, this, this little bag, as small as it is, it holds all this stuff and um, definitely if you found yourself in a true survival situation this is all stuff that you could definitely put to use um, and definitely get you out alive of course there's uh, other bags out there that are far more extensive than this and this is a bag that I only use for when I'm in a setting like this as you can probably hear the the vehicle in the background I'm no more than about 50 feet away from my car this is just a small stream on the uh, the side of the road and this is actually in a very heavily used area where on any given day there can be from anywhere between 15 to 100 people here. It's very, very used. So if something were to happen to me and I had to get stuck over here overnight and I really couldn't make it to my car from where I'm at, um, there'd be people here tomorrow morning, no problem. Um, school's still out, so a lot of people are still bringing their kids up here while they can before the school year begins. But uh, yeah, that's just my little bag. I just thought I'd make a video showing what it is I I carry with me up on these uh, small trips. 
Um, what I also carry with me in my pocket, uh, Streamlight Stylus, AAA, flashlight, and then I like those other two items that you just saw me pull out, um, but that ferro rod and the lighter, I always keep in my pocket. Um, because I didn't have that on my way up here to the mountains, this is kind of a bit of a the redundancy I have. Magnesium bar with the ferro rod attached to it, as well as my uh, it's a Kershaw knife, the G, the G and G Hawk design, and then of course, as always, like I've said, with me, more snacks. Usually sunflower seeds or a McDonald's cheeseburger. <laughs> My keys. And on a paracord bracelet with a whistle. So that way I always have a whistle with me. As well as um, an M-Tech Karambit with some paracord wrap on it. So I got paracord and uh, my Karambit with me. As well as my survival bracelet. This is one of the uh, whistle styles with a ferro rod built into it. As well as a uh, bottle opener. And I keep my, uh, my knife on me in a... It's not a Kydex sheath, but it's like Kydex. It's a really durable hard plastic, basically. But uh, it stays in there positively. And then uh, my watch, so I know what time it is when I'm up here, in case my phone dies. But uh, with that battery pack, probably won't be an issue. But uh, yeah, this is just all the stuff I carry. Don't want to make this video too long. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at it, what I carry with me. For just a small hike, um, I have family that know I'm up here. Um, sisters know I'm up here. My wife knows I'm up here. And uh, they know exactly where I'm at, where I was going to go, and for how long. So that's that's definitely really important whenever you come up to do something, even as small as what I'm doing. Because, you know, God knows anything can happen. And uh, you definitely would rather be prepared for it than, uh, than not. But probably the, the number one tool that you can have that you can never put into a bag is you. You and yourself and your mind. Because that's probably the most important thing you need when you're coming up here. Um, when you find yourself in a, st in a sticky situation, you're all you have, and definitely having tools to help you can definitely be a lifesaver, but you also need to know how to save yourself if you didn't have those things. So, go ahead and leave me comments of what, of some items you think I should definitely put in this bag, um, excluding tourniquet, because that's definitely something I want to get. So let me know something else that I should probably get in this bag besides a tourniquet because it's something I'm already planning on getting. Alright guys, thanks.